Apple has just released two new Apple intelligence features in iOS 18.1 beta three today. And so if you're a developer, go ahead and update your iPhone and you'll get these new features, including the brand new uh, feature in the Photos app called Cleanup. And so let's just jump right into that one because that is the more intriguing uh, feature out of the two. And so what you get with Cleanup is if you go into a photo and you hit the edit button, at the bottom, you'll see Cleanup. And if this is the first time you're doing it, it's actually going to need to download Cleanup, which I thought was pretty interesting. Interesting. But once you do that, you hit clean up and it's going to give you some recommendations off the bat of what could be cleaned up. But if you want to pick something, all you have to do is either color it in or circle it or brush it, whatever you want to do to kind of signify that's the area that you need to clean up. And um, then it'll just use AI to go ahead and remove that from the scene and then fill in the parts generatively, uh, what needs to be filled in. If there's stuff that it's kind of removing, you know, that was in the background, it will fill that in. And it works, um, it works, kind of. It's still in beta, we all need to take that with a grain of salt, but even if I put it up against other features, like other apps out there you can download right now that do this sort of thing, it still needs a little bit more work. And particularly, it seems to struggle with people. So as you can see here with photos, uh, this random group of people that I just got off the internet, honestly, uh, I tried to erase the girl in the middle and it does a good job of removing the girl and that's great. But then the stuff in the background needs a little bit of work. Uh, the car, as you can see here, is just nothing. It's blurry and it needs work. Um, it's gonna be kind of the theme. If I do the same thing in Google Photos, which has the magic editor, uh, but there are other apps out there, Pixelmator, you know, comes to mind, but we'll just go with Google. You can get that on your iPhone right now for free. And so that is a feature that you can use. Uh, if you tap on magic editor, um, it'll do a really good job of removing the person. And then it does still struggle a little bit with the car, but what's different here is that it gives you other options to choose from, which is nice. So I swipe over and I'm getting different generative fills of that car in the background. And while it might not be perfect one-to-one -one of what was actually there, it looks way better in passing. And so no one would really bat an eye uh, potentially if they just saw that this person was removed and then the car in the background wasn't a blurry mess but actually had car pieces to be filled in. And so yeah, you can choose from a bunch of different options or you can have uh, the AI try again and it will give you new options. And so that's really nice. Now with Apple's version with cleanup, it does do a pretty good job uh, with, you know, smaller items like I have parking cones here and depending on what's in the background it does a good job as I start to get a little bit more tricky with it like there's the fence by the boat in the background it starts to mess some things up add some color if it blurred things I don't think that would be as big of a deal as it does just like adding different parts of the cone in places which was strange in this other photo where I'm trying to remove my child uh, that is also kind of a tricky one because my daughter has his, uh, her hand around my son. And so it does a good job of removing my son, but it also takes away her right arm, which is not good and uh, kind of messes up with that fill there. And so it's a work in progress, but would love to hear your thoughts on this feature in the comments down below. And then the next feature that we got here is actually more of an update to what was an existing Apple intelligence feature and probably one of my favorites. And that's the summarization of notifications. And basically I got them inside of emails for every like singular notification that came in. Uh, I noticed a lot of that and with text, that's really, really helpful. And I don't know that I could kind of live without this feature anymore it's been really great if i get like a bunch of texts and i get like long text messages and i just don't have time to read through it all right now you can get a nice little uh brief summary of what that text was but now you get the ability to customize which um, apps can have the notifications summarized for you. And now it's available for all of these third-party applications that are on my phone. And so fantasy football season, for example, is right around the corner. Roster cuts were yesterday. And for those of you who don't play, just know that this means this app is giving me a ton of notifications on who got cut, who should I pick up, all of that. And I don't have time to go through the literal hundreds of notifications that are on this app right now. So what it does is it's giving me a breakdown of like the most important. This person got cut, this person got signed, this person got cut. Like that's great, that is super helpful. And so now you can kind of customize this notifications feature a little bit more with the summaries, choose which apps you want. And if there are tons and tons of notifications from one specific app, you'll get a recap of that group. And I think that's awesome. I think we're headed in the right direction though with Apple intelligence and we're gonna be getting more features that have yet to hit 
uh, the iOS 18 update. And so I am looking forward to that and would love to hear from you in the comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you around in the next video.